We're joined again by Executive Chef Eric Shelton from Kitchen LTO, located in the Trinity Groves area of Dallas. He has such a creative approach to his recipes, and to show you an example, we're making mac and cheese cake. Sounds crazy, but I'm up for it. Man, it's like one of my childhood favorite dishes that Mine I've too. had. So. Mine too. I mean, what kid does not like mac and cheese? So So I, how did you put the cake twist on it? Um, it was more or less in the ramekin that I use, ah. and then I lightly um, lined the uh, the ramekin with butter and dusted it with uh, breadcrumbs to kind of give it more of like a an oh, adult feel in wow. a sense. Wow, Eric, you're in the very mood to, creative. You're in the mood to cook this yeah, morning? Oh yeah, I'm always okay. in the mood to cook. Mac I love it. Mac and cheesecake comes with the orzo, orzo pasta, which is already pre-cooked if you want to add orzo. half of that into the bowl. How cool. And then, oh, you said half. Yeah, well, half, <laughs> half all kind of sounds How's the that? same, you know? Is that, wait, wait, hold on. Did, did That's a little bit perfect, more. perfect. Okay, okay. And then we have our um, shredded smoked gouda. Oh, 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 half, whole, how much? Uh, let's go half. Well, so that would really be about a... That's about right. About a half a cup? Yes, indeed. All righty. And then we want to add a quarter of this. This is our milk and heavy <laughs> you're cream making me, You're making mixture. me think here. It's not much. Would you say this is half and half? Yeah, it's right. Yeah, half okay. and half, basically. All righty. And then right here, we have our whipped egg yolks. Yum. Uh, how much of that? A um, quarter. And that is our binder awesome. to hold our cake together. Right. And we just want to add a little bit of nutmeg mm. and some salt. And do you mind cracking a little bit of... Fresh cracked pepper for oh, me. Oh, I can handle that. Okay. How cool. Yes, you indeed. got really creative this, on this. Yes, yes. It, 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 it presents really well. I like lots of and pepper. And I think we're going to add a little bit more pasta to that. Okay. And then we're going to add some fresh herbs, thyme, and parsley. Thyme. Yes, indeed. So right now, I have some ramekins, which have been buttered. Yeah, let me show everybody butter. how cool that is. So you buttered them, and then you dusted them with dusted the breadcrumbs. Dusted them with some quick toasted breadcrumbs, just to kind of give a nice plain texture. Plain breadcrumbs? Or plain, okay. plain breadcrumbs. Right. Just to give a textural contrast to mm -hmm. the dish. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the mixture inside the ramekins about oh, three quarters of the way up. And it it bakes up in an in a, in a oven at 350 degrees. Yeah for about a good 40 minutes, and you want to cook them until they're set and they form, and they're pretty pretty uh, firm in the middle. And then what we're going to do is pour the rest of our the milk liquid on top. Yeah. And then we put these in the oven. Yes. At 350 degrees. For? For 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yes, indeed. OK. And voila. Voila. So voila. Done. And then we come to our finished product, which is right here. Ooh. And it's, our and it's nice, so nice and brown on top. Nice and golden brown on top. And what I like to do to finish it off to make it really special is yes. finish it off with a smoked Gouda bechamel, which is more or less a thick and cream. Okay. And then I threw in the shredded smoked Gouda just to kind of give it another level of flavor. You are like serious into this. Yes, indeed. So we just okay. kind of just ooze that all over the top. Oh my. Yes, Oh my. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Everybody here went, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I'm all about the garnish. I'm all about bringing yes, colors to the plate. Yes, you gotta finish it off. So I have some parsley oil and some chorizo oil as well going Ooh. around just to kind of give some, some pops of color. Now, kind folks, by the way, this is my plate. Oh, uh, goodness, goodness. <laughs> and because of the, the warm summer months, we have some beautiful parsley because that's one of the components that were in the dish. Oh my so I gosh, Eric. Just let them fall out of the sky kind of effect. Fall out of the sky. Fall out of the sky. Here, you want to add some? Let them land where Hang they up. will. Well, what? Not those. Oh. <laughs> the, <laughs> these well, what, you kind of want to What about the beans, the bean sprouts? What do you want to do with those? Among bean sprouts, they're good. And, you know, and that's basically the dish. And then I love to finish it off with a yeah. little bit of fresh Parmesan Reggiano. Yeah, Eric, you are the best. I cannot wait to try this. For more info, log got on it? to the Broadcast TV. <laughs> you got you to make it rain. Make it rain. Click on today's link. <laughs> now, let's head over to